So um, I've been working uh, the last few uh, weeks, uh, evenings and weekends, making a uh, speech recognition driven uh, remote control interface for my uh, telly and all the things plugged into it. And this video is going to give a quick demo of it. So um, it's all built on a, like a Raspberry Pi, which is attached to the back of the telly. I think I'll give you a quick look at what that is like. Swing it out on the wall here. So there we go, that uh, transparent box festooned with wires is a Raspberry Pi and it's got this sort of uh, breadboard stuck on it with an infrared um, circuit which um, both receives and transmits infrared and there are various uh, infrared um, LEDs dotted around in various places so that these devices can actually uh, see where the uh, commands are coming from. So there's one for the, uh, the telly and there's one under the table for my little lamp. So I'm going to sit back down and see if I can put this thing through its places. So first things first, um, let's see what's on. And you get it to, you get it to start listening to you. Uh, it's not listening all the time because it's, that's kind of inaccurate and a bit intrusive. So to get its attention, you just push a button on the remote like this and it goes beep and then you start talking. So here we go. TV guide. TV guide. There we go. So that's my uh, TiVo TV guide. So everything on it that um, is available. Um, QI, Law and Order, blah, blah, blah. So I could select a film on BBC Three. There we go. But I've already got bored of this. So I'm going to see what I've got recorded. My recordings. Recordings. Excellent. So there's a list of all the shows I've recorded. Uh, Room 101, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., whatever that is. Uh, and uh, Obese, A Year to Save My Life, which is my wife's favourite type of television programme. There are lots of big people trying to lose weight. So um, you can also ask for channels just by, uh, by name. BBC One. BBC One. There we go. So it should... There we go, and you can see it um, fired out all the numbers, the digits 108 to get to BBC One, so that's a casualty, which is very good. And um, I mean, that's just kind of controlling my TiVo, but I've got other things connected to the uh, the telly as well. So I could uh, switch to my Apple TV and just to, to select one of these sources, just say its name. Apple TV. Oh, that didn't work. I'm sitting quite far away from it. Apple TV. TiVo to Apple TV. There we go. It wouldn't be a speech recognition demo without an error creeping in, which is absolutely fine. Uh, so that's my Apple TV working uh, beautifully there. You know, so I'm using the remote control here, just pushing buttons on it because I haven't actually got any kind of more detailed Apple TV support as yet. I might do it, but it's a bit more complicated than some of the other devices. So I, I've got bored of this, so I'm going to switch to uh, my Chromecast. Chromecast. Apple TV to Chromecast. There we go. So it's clever enough to know how to get, using the TV uh, switching, HDMI switching, to get to where it needs to be from, from where it was. So the little program I've got running on the Raspberry Pi uh, remembers what state it's in. Um, but now, I mean, I'm on the Chromecast, so if I want to get back to the TiVo to have a particular radio station or a TV uh, channel, I don't need to tell it to go to the TiVo first and then choose the channel. I can just say the channel name and it'll, it'll think, oh, I've got to go to the TiVo to do that. So we'll do that now. BBC Four. BBC Four. There we go. So it's switched to uh, the input for the TiVo. And by the time we get there, it's already switched to TiVo to uh, BBC4. It's showing some Italian thing, which is good. And it does radio stations as well. So um, I'm going to select Radio 5. BBC Radio 5. BBC Radio 5 Live. There we go. So that's all, all seems to be working okay and a uh, bit of fun, isn't it? So I thought I might share that with you. Cheers.